Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create your own unique filters or filter styles inside Photoshop, kind of like what you would do with Instagram, but you get infinitely more control and you can do more polish and do more things in Photoshop than you can with some of the pre-built filters, although I do recognize that Instagram and a few other ones are starting to add in a few more sliders for you to do this and that. but. It's not as good as Photoshop, and you can do a lot more. So let's just get right into this, guys. I've got a picture here of a of a girl in a in a pool, and I, you know what? It's a nice picture. It's a little faded, a little washed out for me. But I want to add in some contrast. I want to add in some brighter colors. I just want to make it pop a little more, even though graphic designers don't like the word pop. But that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna dig right in. The first step is you want to load the image, obviously. Then click on the layer. You want to go down to the bottom. We are going to add an adjustment layer. So this little uh, side rakish, uh, half filled, half unfilled circle here is the adjustment layer button. Ding, ding, ding. And next we want to go up to color balance. Now when you click on this, nothing happens. Do not panic. That's just par for the course. Uh, what happens here is we've loaded up the color balance and we're going to go ahead and start making some serious changes to it. So it defaults, as you can see here in this drop down, it defaults to the midtones. And for me, I want to start working in the shadows and we're going to go, you know, from dark to light. So let's start with the shadows. So you can just click onto the shadows and then you'll notice here that we can make a few changes. For example, in the shadows and the shadows, for those of you guys aren't aware, are the darker parts or the, the, the darker parts, the less luminous parts of the, uh, of the image. We're going to add in some color and this one I want to start adding in some red. You'll see some nice orangey colors in the sky, but I want to make that really stick out. And we're going to start adding in a little bit of red. Of course, we're going to do a little bit more inside of the highlights, but let's go and let's just get this rolling. So I am going to move this slider. And as I do it, you're going to notice here, holy smokes, it's adding a lot of red. It's also giving the, the girl a little bit of a tan. But anyways, we can, we're going to adjust that later. So I'm going to add in a whole bunch of red. I'm going to add in a little bit of, do you want to do, do you, what do you guys think, a greenish red? you want a red green sky? I mean, this is part of the, I'll just stop here. This is part of the awesome part of Photoshop is we can hone in on all of these different parts. So you can literally create it exactly how you want it. So let's go ahead and add in some green in the shadows and uh, da, 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 yeah, okay, a little bit of blue. Okay, whatever. We got something there. We're on our way. Midtones, similar idea. You got red and cyan in shadows. You also got red and cyan, sorry, but it's also magenta green. This one here, um, red cyan, but we're going to go ahead and add in some cyan, pardon me, for the midtones. So for the midtones, which are the less, well, they're just the middle, <laughs> the middle half of the, of the spectrum is going to go, and we're going to add in some cyan. We're going to add in a little bit of green. This is getting a little wonky looking, not going to lie. And we'll add in a whole bunch of blue. And finally, for the highlights, like I said, we want to add in some red. So we want some red. Now, the highlights, as you can imagine, are the lightest parts of the image. And there's quite a bit of light parts of this image, especially in the sky here. So we're going to make the sky a little red. And presto, we're adding in some red. And it's starting to look pretty good. Maybe you guys want to go with a little bit of green sky. Or, yeah, let's go with a bit of green because then it's getting way out of line. And then let's add in, yeah, no, 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 no. We're going to add in a bit of blue and the hell with it. We're going to add in even a little bit more red. I'm going to click off of it. And again, guys, this is a custom filter, basically like a custom look. You guys can customize it as you see fit. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Now, I am going to turn the layer off. This was the original image. And this is the new look. It's looking pretty good. It's not a huge jump, but again, it's a different look and we're just going ahead and creating some cool stuff here. So the next step, and this is a part that you can't really do inside of Instagram, for example, is you can make a selective or you can make a partial um, mask or you can create so that, you know, the top part of the image is has the uh, effects applied to it, but the bottom half doesn't. Let me show you how to do that. First step, you want to left click here on this mask. This is the layer mask thumbnail. So make sure that is selected. Now hit G or go over to your uh, toolbar and select the gradient tool. Make sure you're on black and white. You can drop down to you know, select your options. And now watch this. I'm going to select the lower part of her body. And I'm just going to draw a little gradient up to the top of the pool type area. 
Now, you're not, it's not a huge, huge effect, but if, you know, if I turn it on or off, you are going to see that the bottom of the image now has a feathered less of that, um, of, the, of the filter applied to it, whereas the top does not. So you'll see that also inside the mask here. So this is a way to create custom looks or custom filters uh, for your own images and to have all sorts of variability, all sorts of options on how to do it. So this is a quick video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have anything that you'd like to learn or any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Thanks for watching.